everyone, happy new year to you all. It is the 1st of January, which is crazy. Every year I'm just like, how? It's January again. They all seem to be blending into the wall. Maybe I should have worn a different colour, but never mind. I hope the setup is okay. I'm filming back on my tripod. I obviously didn't take that to uni with me, so it's quite strange to be filming again with a tripod. I feel a bit more professional than stacking my, you know, putting my camera on a load of books. But anyway, I'm doing my New Year's resolutions video again for this year. Um, so let's get cracking. First and foremost, we're going to be looking back on last year's resolutions. So let's go. Try and control the stress and negative mindset. Controlling the negative mindset and stress. Negativity, yes, definitely. I I feel a lot more positive this year in terms of my mindset. The stress, no. Um, I still get very worked up, but I think that's part of my personality. I just need to know, have a lot more belief in myself, I think. I, I'm beginning to get a bit more less stress in terms of like work and work and stuff like that. I am getting a lot better at like managing my work in terms of taking time out, the relaxing side of things as well, and find ways to kind of relax and calm down. So yeah, I kind of getting there, but at the same time, I think as a part of my personality, I'm a very stressful person, stressy person. Yeah. Go to uni to get there, to be in my student accommodation, to be doing my course. Yes! I'm home for the holiday. Um, I go back next weekend, but I am at university. I am at my top choice uni. Um, I moved in in September. It is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I'm having an amazing experience so far. It's still very overwhelming, especially now I'm back for Christmas. It feels like uni never happened. Uni's incredible and I'm really, really happy there. Um, it's still all very new, but I'm settling in quite well and I'm really, really enjoying it, so. Yes. Work over the summer. Yes, I worked all of the summer. I miss working. It gave me a lot of independence and confidence and stuff. For those of you who don't know, I worked at Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket. I was the replenishment assistant, which basically meant I carried lots of heavy crates and um, like restocked fruit and veg all day. Um, got quite a little bit boring and it was very, very tiring. It was a very manual job. I was in the warehouse and I used to pick up really heavy crates and take them out onto the shop floor and help people with cust help customers and stuff. Yeah, but now I have a lot of work experience. I was in that job for nine months. I was a temporary Christmas like assistant last year and they kept me on to be a permanent person until I moved to university. Continue to fight the stigma surrounding mental health and LGBTQ plus surrounding. Yes, I like to think so. My girlfriend Sarah and I went to Birmingham Pride in May, which was awesome. Hope that I'm helping you guys and I always try and like offer advice. So if you guys ever need advice in terms of LGBT related problems, then please do contact me. I'm happy to offer any form of advice that I can. Go to somewhere in the city? Nope, once again I didn't go to somewhere in the city. It doesn't really interest me anymore. All that kind of YouTube culture, like the, the really hyped stuff is not appealing to me. Um, so yeah. Out and do more, to take a step back again from school. Get out and do stuff, get a train and go somewhere, go to places. I have done so much stuff in the past year. I've travelled to so many places. Um, I went to London twice, once with my family and once with Sarah. I got so many trains to loads of different places obviously because Sarah and I are long distance so we have to travel to see each other which is really exciting. I feel so much more independent this past year. I do things, I go out and obviously sometimes money is a little bit of an issue because train tickets are so expensive. So much stuff this year, especially looking back on things like Instagram. I've done so much. Learn to cook, that's a real essential for me is to learn to cook. Although I'm going to be on the meal plan next year for the first year of uni um, to take that bit of stress off because I'll be in lectures a lot of the time and come back quite late. Um, I want to learn to cook. Yes! I've been cooking so much this year. Um, I am on Meal Plan at uni, so I am catered, but at the weekends I cook. Um, I've been doing lots of cooking. Sarah says I'm really good at cooking, which is nice. Follow recipes, I like buying ingredients, I find cooking really relaxing. And yeah, I'm continuing to learn to do some new stuff, and I really enjoyed helping my mum out in the cooking side of things. You were driving. Driving. Um, I'm gonna pick it up about again this year, hopefully. Um, well, definitely, most likely, once I finish uni for the summer. I had 30 lessons in total. I had to stop and I was getting to kind of test standard kind of but because of going to university I had to stop it for now but I will definitely pick it up again soon so yeah I was doing driving I just didn't get to passing my test but I'm getting there myself first more yes and no I am getting better in terms of shutting out negative people from my life and focusing on good people that make me feel good um but yeah I'm getting better with that I'm still very much a very oversensitive always put people before me kind of person but 
but I'm also considering my well-being a lot more, which is good. Anyway, let's move on to this year's resolutions for 2016, which is kind of crazy. First and foremost, I am an English literature student, but I just don't have a lot of time to read books for enjoyment. So my news resolution mainly is to read a lot of books, take a step away from my phone and getting distracted and just sit and relax and read books because I used to read so many books and I don't anymore. Get back into history and watch lots of documentaries. I did AS history and GCSE history. I didn't continue it for a two, but I really miss just you know, stimulating my brain and learning more about history. Read more about the news and current affairs. A lot of the time, I don't really know what's going on in the world and I really need to improve that and watch the news more and understand politics a bit better than I do. Start yoga or Zumba classes and have a, a thing to de-stress and to relax, you know, like meditation, yoga, that kind of thing. Go to at least one cultural thing place per month, at least. Um, so by that I mean like a museum or a an art gallery, something which is nice. I really enjoy going to those kind of things like National Trust houses or a cultural kind of place to visit. Get out more and again that is every year but to just see lots of new stuff and do stuff and go out and do things. Yeah, have more social media detoxes. Um, I mentioned this in my Vlogmas, but I went about a week and a half to two weeks without going on Facebook or Instagram or anything. And it really gave me like a nice, like a, a fresh or whatever. Really nice just to not have people that I don't know come up on my phone all the time, like on Instagram and stuff. As much as it's really nice to post on Instagram, like people get very obsessed with having their lives verified online and like, get acceptance from people that they don't know and getting likes and stuff on photos and it's a bit of a weird thing that our society has gotten into. Journal more. I want to write in my journal a lot more and diary and just document and just write more um, so I remember things. I, I love looking back. I used to write journals all the time and like diaries when I was a lot younger and I love reading them back and I want to have more things to read back. So yeah, I also want to start a dream journal as well because I got bought one for Christmas. Believe in myself a lot more and get less stressed as usual. If family and friends believe in me and I know I'm capable at doing stuff but prior to doing those things I, I still think I'm hopeless so I need to get better at doing that. Drink more water. Um, I used to drink lots of water when I was at sixth form. I used to take my flask but I need to start taking that to uni so I drink more water again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to keep it down a little bit shorter this year because they end up getting so long. Hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and a wonderful new year and I will see you all soon. I really feel like I'm blending into the background here. <laughs> okay, goodbye everybody. Thank you.